Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. Friends, US markets were shut for the second day in a row because of the Hurricane Sandy and uh, European markets were up almost 1% mainly because of two reasons. So one is that uh, some of the numbers uh, that came out yesterday from the banking uh, side were much better than expectations and also Italy could raise about uh, 7 billion dollars at a re relatively lower yield of about 3.7%. Uh, when we look at the Asian markets today, most of them are about up a percent uh, mainly because of the uh, liquidity easing by Japan and also the industrial production data that came out from Korea were better than expectations. So that is uh, having some kind of a positive effect on the Asian markets. Uh, talking about uh, the flows friends, uh, in yesterday's session FIs were net sellers in the cash market to the tune of uh, 192 crore and even the uh, domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 40 odd crore. It has been about fifth uh, successive trading session wherein the FIs have been selling in the cash market which is definitely unnerving and on top of that we had uh, some disappointment on the RBI uh, policy meet uh, decision wherein only CRR has been cut by 25 bips which is in line with the market expectations and uh, there was a disappointment that final rate cut uh, did not happen. Uh, though a section of the market was hoping for it given that the finance minister had given some kind of a road map on the fiscal calendar over the next five years but definitely because of that we saw a quick sell off uh, post uh, that RBI policy meet decision and, and the important uh, support to watch out for now uh, by the technical analyst is about 55.80 to about 55.95. Uh, on that note, uh, let me invite Shaival to take us through important FNO cues and the ideas and strategies that we can look at in the FNO markets. Good morning, friends. Uh, we have seen that the RBI, uh, the RBI governor has, has kept uh, the key rates unchanged and due to which we have seen uh, fresh short building up at higher levels and we have seen that the markets have uh, broken the range on the lower side. The range what we are talking about is uh, 5670 and 5750. So that range has finally broken down on the lower side but still 5600 according to us is the important support level that we would like to watch on for the market in the coming trading sessions. Now the FI, on the FIS front if we talk about the, the flows, the flows has been positive in the yesterday's trade also. The PCR ratio is at 1.03. The implied volatility has not shown any significant change on the positive or on the negative side. It has remained almost flattish to negative. So that's been indicating that we may see some buying emerging at lower level and 5600 on closing basis would act as a good support. Mainly because 5600 call as well as put option has seen a good activity on the options uh, on the open interest fronts. So we will need to watch on that and we have seen that the focus from the higher out of the money call has shifted towards 5,900 to and 5,700. So 5,700, 5,730 would be the probable hurdle for the market if we see a bounce in the market. Now uh, the weekly app is at 5,750. We are trading below this, so our bias for the market is negative. From intraday perspective, we have identified three stocks. Bharti Airtel is looking positive, so one can maintain a stop loss of 267 rupees 40 paisa, whereas Sisago is looking weak, so one can go short on that with resistance of 170 rupees 50 paisa, and one can maintain stop loss of 303 rupees 75 paisa on Hindustan Petroleum to go short. Thank you. Friends, uh, here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, Titan is uh, going to announce the numbers, and we are looking at a net profit of about 181 crore, which would mean about 22% kind of a growth. And RBI policy meet uh, decision came out yesterday and uh, the CRR has been cut by 25 bips which is in line with market expectations and it would infuse about 17,000 crore into the system. However, as the uh, expectations were there that you might see a rate cut also and uh, there was no real m move on that front that disappointed the market and as per the indications now the rate cut may happen somewhere in January or February meet. Uh, once the inflation uh, comes down and uh, that definitely did not go down well with the markets. Also uh, we saw a quick reaction by the PSU banking space because of the higher provisioning uh, suggested uh, on the restructured loan. So this is definitely a bit negative for the PSU banking space.
Maruti came out with the good set of numbers, particularly at the top line level, and we saw a quick positive reaction by the market. And Mahindra Satyam also came out with a good set of numbers, particularly the dollar revenue uh, went up by about 3.5%. And despite uh, the wage hike, uh, the margins were stable. And uh, uh, this is definitely uh, going to go down well with the market. And in a major relief to the tire companies, the CCI has not found any evidence of cartelization by the tire companies. So this is sentimentally positive for companies like Apollo Tire, Balkrishna Industries, JK Tires, C8 Tires, so on and so forth. But one has to uh, keep in mind that it's a quick trading bet. One should exit quickly because uh, you know today morning if the companies open up 2 to 3 percent and if one is not very disciplined, you might get stuck as well. And finance ministry's final decision on the Shom panel recommendation on GAR is likely to be out today. Uh, there was some kind of a contradiction about the retrospective effect and uh, we are expecting some clarity from the finance minister today on this matter. Also friends, EGOM is likely to discuss the contentious issue of uh, spectrum refarming today for the uh, companies which are holding more than 800 uh, megahertz of spectrum. So we will watch out for the telecom companies for this development. And Mindtree has partnered with the Chennai based company in the area of VM Unify. So this is definitely positive for uh, Mindtree. One can go longer with a stop loss of about 646 and a target of about 678 to 691. Well, Spun Corporation has completed uh, the uh, buyback of FCCB worth about uh, 150 million dollars at a discount of about 7 percent. So this is uh, sentimentally positive for Wellspun. One can go long there with a stop loss of 95 and a target of about 100 to 102. And Shipping Corporation has uh, moved a proposal to build a container port at uh, JN port near Mumbai. This would be a part of the divestment program. So they are not going through the auction route. This is positive for shipping corporation. One can go along with a stop loss of 49 and a target of about 51.5 to 52.5. And as per the recent ruling by the Bombay High Court, uh, the builders will have to pay additional VAT of 5% for all the flats sold by them uh, in the period of 2006 to 2010. So this is definitely a negative for the Bombay-based reality company. So one can go short on HDIL with a stop loss of 95 and a target of about 90 to 88. Uh, that's it from all of us friends. Uh, see you tomorrow at the same time.